Your materials for today is your kangaroo and koala's Venn diagram handout from day 36 and work text pages 83 and 84. This is called eucalyptus, and it has a really interesting smell. The oil on the leaves smells like medicine. Well, actually, I have that backwards. Eucalyptus trees are native to Australia and are valued for their wood and for their oil, which is used in medicine. And the leaves have a really strong smell. In fact, to most animals, eucalyptus leaves are extremely poisonous. There are several hundred different types of eucalyptus leaves, but let me show you the kind I see most often in plant arrangements. Right here, this right here, this is called baby eucalyptus. This was a a bouquet that a friend of mine had. And this is eucalyptus seed pods. And this is the silver dollar leaf that is uh, what koalas eat in Australia, the eucalyptus leaves. Ah, So eucalyptus is our vocabulary word today. Just one, but it is a doozy. So how do you think the word eucalyptus looks? Think in your brain how you think it will be spelled. Let's see, were you right? Eucalyptus. Not really anything like it sounds. Eucalyptus leaves are the main diet of koalas. Wow. Imagine eating just leaves for breakfast, lunch, supper, and every snack in between. You know, they love them. But very few other animals can eat them. God gave them a special digestive system to be able to handle the toxic leaves. And they eat constantly, but since the leaves are very low in nutrition, koalas also sleep somewhere between 18 and 22 hours every day in order to conserve energy. Wow, that is one serious nap. Eat for six hours, sleep for 18. What a life. Sounds like koalas are just as interesting as kangaroos. So you should have your kangaroo and koala Venn diagram from last time, okay? So let's review what we learned about kangaroos and see what we can learn about koalas. Okay, this is our Venn diagram from last time and what we learned about kangaroos and what we know about both of them. But we're going to be learning more about koalas today, so keep this handy. So we're going to be reading about them, and I want you to look at pages 183 and 84. Anything look familiar? Do you notice anything How about these headings? Ah, yes, baby koalas, adult koalas, habitat, food, protection. They are the exact same headings that we used to organize the first part of the article about kangaroos. So you're going to cover the same categories, and you'll find some things are similar and some things are different. But first, as you read, I want you to jot down what you learn about koalas. So write what you find out on the koala side of the handout, okay? And then we'll do a comparison at the end. Now, don't forget to look at the photographs and the captions. So read page 183 silently to find out facts about baby koalas and adult koalas. So what did you learn about baby koalas? Anything you didn't already know? Even if you knew it before, you should still write it down. I wrote a few things down. I wrote down that babies are called joeys. They're born less than one inch long, and they live six months in their mommy's pouch. Does that sound familiar? Did you write any of them down? Now, what else did you notice that was a bit different from a baby kangaroo? Well, a baby joey koala doesn't go hopping around after he moves out of his mama's pouch. He hangs on to her for dear life and learns to be a great climber and hanger on her. I think both babies' lives would be crazy, hopping and climbing. Which one would you prefer? So what did you learn about an adult koala? Yeah, no six-foot-tall koalas, that's for sure. They only grow to be about two feet tall, and only weigh about 30 pounds. So what did you add to your Venn diagram handout? I wrote a few things down. They grow to be about two feet tall and weigh about 30 pounds. 
So are you starting to notice what things are different and what things are the same? Don't put them in the middle yet. Let's get all of our information and then do our comparison, okay? Let's read aloud the captions about baby koalas and adult koalas. A baby koala riding on its mother's back. Isn't that so cute? And then here at the bottom, a koala being held by a child. Doesn't he look cuddly? Much nicer than those fighty kangaroos. But what do you think will be different about the koala's habitat? Remember, they're both from Australia. What's different about their food or how they protect themselves? So read page 184 silently to find out about the koala's habitat, their food, and their protection. Did you write a few things down? So what other facts did you learn about koalas? Let's see. They live in Australia. They live in trees. They even sleep in the trees. They eat eucalyptus leaves. They have sharp claws, and they have thick fur. Think about that. They almost never come down from the trees. The eucalyptus leaves provide all the water they need, so they don't even have to get out of the trees. In fact, let's watch them in action. So even though they have sharp claws that help them climb the trees, on the ground, they'd be easy target for predators. Notice how he eats the leaves. Well, on a sad note, the koala's natural habitat and the eucalyptus forests are disappearing. People like the eucalyptus wood. They're not really considered to be an endangered species, but they are listed as vulnerable in some parts of Australia. So do you think it would be fun to have one of these cute leaf-bunching koalas as a pet? Did you know that it is not permitted anywhere in the world? It would be illegal to have a koala as a pet anywhere, even in Australia. So now that we've gathered all the information on kangaroos and koalas that we can, Let's look at our information and compare our two lists. Now, I might have more than you, you know, and you might not have all of these. That's okay. And you might even have them in a different order. That's fine. So make sure you look at both sides to see if you have any matches. Okay? Try to do that. Now, just look at what you wrote and try to find a few things that both the kangaroo and the koala have in common. Things that are very much the same. Now, you could write it here in the middle but to save time, why don't you just draw arrows? For instance, they both live in Australia. So just draw arrows there, okay? Draw the arrow to the middle from the kangaroo side and from the koala side. Now, while you're doing this, you might remember a few other details and feel free to add them. That would be fine. So take a couple of minutes and compare your lists, okay? Mark which details are the same. How many ways are kangaroos and koalas the same? Well, based on our article, I squeezed all of those details on my Venn diagram. Let's see how many of these you got. So what is the same? Now, I color-coded them so it would be easier to see. They both have fur, they feed their babies milk, and they carry their babies in a pouch, those we know already. They were also uh, called joeys. They're born less than an inch long. They also live in Australia. See where the colors go there? Now about the leaves. Some kangaroos um, live in trees, and, but uh, koalas all live in the eucalyptus trees. And some eat leaves, but koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. So you can see how the color coding worked there. So what are some things that are different? The things that didn't get moved to the middle would be different. So let's look at kangaroos first. Ah, they live eight months in the pouch, whereas koalas live six months. Kangaroos grow tall, six feet, and 145 pounds, whereas koalas are only about two feet tall and weigh 30 pounds. Kangaroos have a long, strong tail. Koalas don't have a tail. Most kangaroos live in the grasslands, but some live in trees, and koalas all live only in the trees. Let's see. Kangaroos eat mostly grass and fruit, Kang and koalas eat only eucalyptus leaves. Kangaroos um, can protect themselves with their strong 
legs and with their that they can jump high and far. But koalas just have sharp claws. So what is a marsupial? Hmm, it's not in your glossary. So can you answer that question from the title of the story? What's a simple statement? A marsupial is a mammal whose babies live in the mother's pouch when they are first born. Isn't it amazing how God has created such a variety in the world? Do you think he cares about the animals? What did God give marsupial mothers to help them care for their small babies? Yeah, a little pouch. A very carefully designed baby carrier for an active hopping mom and a tree climbing mom. Did you know that there are over 300 species of marsupials? Now, most are native to Australia and the nearby islands to the north. So let's take a look at some of them, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce some of them. Like I said, lots of variety. Mrs. Walker, oh, do you like my koala? I love this koala. Yeah. It's so cute. Yeah. And is this a like, eucalyptus tree? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Miss mm -hmm. Twist must have heard that we were talking about koalas. Oh, uh, no. I Miss Twist made it after I told her about the marsupials book I read. Oh. Marsupials. That's a fun word to say. Marsupials, marsupials. <laughs> yeah. Do you know that there's only one type of marsupial that lives in the United States? Only one? Yeah, the possum. Oh, wow. You know, Australia has lots of different kinds of marsupials. Yeah, and I can't decide which marsupial is my favorite. Koalas with their babies are so adorable, <laughs> but the bilby is pretty cute too. Ah. But so is the qual. Ah. I think I just love all marsupials, except for the Tasmanian devils. Oh. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Ooh, Tasmanian devils does sound pretty wild. Yeah. So what was the name of the book? Um, oh, here's the tag. Oh, oh, what a cute business card. Yeah. Marsupials. Written by Nick Bishop and photos by Nick Bishop. Oh, yeah. There's lots of pictures. Yeah, I, I'm glad our stories about marsupials got you interested enough to find a whole book about them. So thank you for bringing the koala balloon for oh, us to see. You're welcome. You know, I think I'm going to write a poem about koalas. Koala, koala, I love your beautiful... Um, hmm, what rhymes with koala? Koala, <laughs> Guatemala. Uh, oh, Rosa... We learned so much about marsupials over the past two lessons. We talked about all the facts that you need to know for this page, but it might help if you use your Venn diagram to help you complete page 83. So let's try one together. I was less than one inch long when I was born. Hmm. Was it a kangaroo or a koala or both? Hmm. It was both. You can actually see that right on your Venn diagram. Look in the center. Born less than one inch. And that's exactly what you're going to do on your page. On page 83, you're going to read it and decide on the right answer. Fill in the circle beside the correct answer. And you can look on your Venn diagram to help you out there. Or you can look at the article again for your information. That's totally fine. Now you have learned lots of facts about real kangaroos. But what are two things in the story about Kate Kangaroo and her family that are true about real kangaroos. Hmm, we might have to turn back to page 160 to find that. Can you find page 160? Back in your reader. There we are. Okay. Browse through things. Think real. What is it that real kangaroos would do that they are doing? Hmm, 
Got anything? Okay, if not, you need to pause until you find two things, okay? And while they still hop a lot, think about where they live. What does Kate gather? Grass. So they live in the grasslands. So what are two things in the story that are not true about real kangaroos? What two things show that the story is fantasy? Oh, that's much easier to see. Yeah. And look at all the dialogue tags. Kangaroos talk to each other. Look what they're doing. <laughs> Muffins. Reading the newspaper. Having picnics. Washing dishes. Tarring roofs. Lots of other human activities. So, can you tell the difference between real and pretend? Try one with me. Kangaroos live in houses. Is that real or pretend? Yes, that is pretend. And that's exactly what you're going to do on your work text page. You're going to read the statement, and you circle real if the sentence tells about real kangaroos, or you're going to circle pretend if it's something like, say, the writers of Kate Kangaroo made up. Now, something real about both is that they have paws and they have claws. Now, how is the ah sound spelled? Let's look at that. Paws and claws. It's the A-W sound. But did you know that there are different ways to spell the sounds, like especially the ah sound? For instance, here's another word. Pause, like pause the program. And claws, like um, that has to do with the type of English. It's a clause. So the words sound the same as paws and claws, but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So how is the ah sound spelled here? Yes, with the A-U. So all you really need to remember today is that ah is can be spelled with A-W and A-U. There are two ways to spell the same sound. So let's read the generalization with me. The vowel pairs A-U and A-W usually say ah, as in faucet and draw. Now, would you like to read a few of these awesome words with me? Find the letters that spell ah and then say the word. What do you think it is? Mm -hmm. Paw. Paul. Say it before I do. Because. Fawn. Straw. and hall. Now those weren't too hard, were they? So let's see if you can match up the definitions of each of these ah words. Here are five different definitions. Let's see, to make a picture, a bird with strong claws, first light in the morning, something served with food, and a weakness or mistake. Okay, here's your first clue. Hmm, which one matches which description matches that word? Mm -hmm. Dawn is the first light of morning. How about this one? Which description matches that word? You've got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. A weakness or mistake is a fault. How about this one? Mm -hmm. A bird with strong claws is a hawk this one? Which one des description matches the word? To make a picture means to draw. Notice I'm crossing each one out, so it kind of gives me an idea, narrows down my choices. So something served with food is sauce. Now that may have been hard, but it was good practice to think about what new words mean. Some may have been easy, Others you may have never, ever seen before, and that's okay. A little stretching is a good thing. But what we do know is that A-U and A-W make the same vowel sound. So look at these words. What letter pair makes the A sound? A-U. So this word is pause. 
What letter pair makes the ah sound? A-W. So this word is thaw. Now, let's show, see if you know what the words mean. A river will what in the spring? Will it pause or thaw? Yes, it will thaw. The river will thaw or warm up in the spring. So do you think you can do that on your work text page? Look at page 84. Circle the two letters in each word that make the ah sound, and then use the words to complete the sentences. So why do I ask you to do this? Because just being able to pronounce the word does not mean that you are reading it. Reading is understanding what you're reading. So until you understand a word, you're not really reading it, are you? How about this word? What is this word again? Mm -hmm. Eucalyptus. Do you know what it means now? So are you curious about the word eucalyptus? It's a toughie. It would make a great word for a spelling bee. You know, you might even want to go on a hunt for this word in your house. You would probably be surprised at how many products in your home might have eucalyptus oil in them. Seriously, cough medicine, hand cleaner, allergy medicine, soap, laundry detergent, toothpaste, perfume, mom's makeup, even mouthwash. <sighs> Smells clean. Your assignment today is complete work text pages 83 and 84. Review all your service words and read your favorite page from What is a Marsupial Allowed?